Joe, remember guys, this video has been brought to you by the Skyforge PlayStation community, where you can come in this community, chat with me, and a bunch of other like-minded Skyforge fans like myself who are just anticipating the Skyforge PlayStation 4 release coming this March or this spring, whichever you know is first. Remember the game releases. It's said for March, so screw it. But remember guys, just go on just go on PlayStation community section, search Skyforge. This should be one of the first results that um that pops up. If you don't, you know, see it right away, just look for this symbol emblem that you see right here on the screen. Screen. Come through, chat with us, um, discuss guilds, rating, upcoming news leaks with the games, anything. Advertise the community for your own guild. I don't care. Just come through, guys. Come to the Skyforge PlayStation community today. Take care. Gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tenek127. Welcome back to another Skyforge PlayStation 4 video. <laughs> I caught myself. I almost said never went to right <laughs> But anyway, guys, what's up? Tenek127 here, and um, I'm, I'm 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 expecting you know to get some smacks and backlash on this video. I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. You know, there's gonna be a lot of people itching for that dish for that dislike button, and I, I see you itching for it. And if in, in all honesty. You know, if you hate this game that bad and you want to press it, feel free. Matter of fact, I'll, um, and I, 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 I kid you not, I'll press it for you. I will put the first dislike on this video just because I'm that confident in what I'm saying. Because, you know, it's, it, it's starting to become a common sense system here. And I'm honestly to the point now where I'm getting tired of trying to, you know, defend this with free to play games. This will be the second time I'm doing this. Well, I can't say I'm tired, you know, I've only done it. Well, this will be the third time I've done this, but um, but like it's it's kind of annoying. So free to play MMOs mainly, you know, a lot of free to play games, even mobile games. There's always some type of you know currency that's purchasable in the game. You know, even games like um on the phones like Candy Crush and uh, and, and stuff like that. You know, it, there's even versions of Bejeweled out there. You know, where you can buy little coins. You know, to unlock I don't know dumb shit. But you know, with with free-to-play MMOs, they have these things too. Now, keep in mind, guys, they are selling you this game. They're not selling you this game. They're giving you this game absolutely free. There's, you know, there's going to be DLC. There's going to be, you know, shit you can pay for. You know, mounts, um, cosmetic stuff. You know, weird, cool outfits, and you know, and, and stuff like that. All that stuff's fine, fine and dandy. What, whatever. You know, like um, like how Neverwinter has their whole, you know, Astral Diamond and Zen system. Well. We're going to talk about Skyforge's system, and I've been digging into this, you know, and I see this pop up a lot on the internet, and everyone who's made a video on this that I've seen has got a lot of hate, so that, that's why I'm just bracing myself. But apparently Skyforge has a currency called Argents. Now, these Argents are obviously purchasable, you know, with, with real money. They, um, they can purchase a, um, a premium membership, which I guess is, you know, um, Skyforge is, you know, paid membership, which gives you, you know, some type of extra uh, benefits and 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 shit like that. But then there's, you know, just a, a free way to play too. My whole thing is when it comes to free to play, oh, free to play and pay to win, right? And here's and here's my logic. Here's how I look at it. And if you don't agree with this, that's fine. But unless it's, you know, the paywall is deliberately blocking you from doing something in the game, it's not pay to win. If there's a way for you to grind this item at all, it's not pay to win. Let's take Neverwinter, for example, to start off with. Astral Diamonds and Zen. Now, there's a crappy balance between the two. You need billions of Astral Diamonds to get hundreds and thousands of Zen. Yeah, I get that. It's a crappy grind. It's really shitty. I know. I understand that. I am perfectly okay with saying that. But the fact that you can still grind to get... To get, um... To get Zen... It's not pay to win. You can pay for your whole time in that game by just grinding. And with Argents, you do missions and stuff like that, and you sell or break down some type of item, and they give you Argents for it in the game. So is is Skyforge pay to win? The honest answer is no, because that currency is grindable in the game. And apparently, you know, you can get this stuff, you know, to... um. To get your hands on Argents by doing missions, um, dungeons, raids, and stuff from from what I'm hearing, but I'm not completely sure because I haven't um played the game. But if you're able to obtain it by you know as something as easy as doing quest, 
And even if you know you're not getting a crap ton of it at a time, still, it's a quest. Quests are anything, usually in MMOs, are either one of two things. You either A, walk around here and go talk to XXX amount of NPCs, or B, kill this amount of enemies, C, touch this item and interact with it and make it do whatever it's supposed to do, or D, all of the above mixed into one quest. Who cares? The point is, if I just have to walk somewhere, talk to an NPC, slash a few guys, and interact with a switch to open a gate, and I get a quest reward that hands me some of the paid game currency in the game. I'm not going to call that pay to win. Now, if I have to go to, you know, if I have to go to hell, fight Satan himself, you know, dance around and, you know, and, and bang Satan's wife at the same time in order, you know, to get one piece of this currency, then, you know, may I'll, I'll be a little bit more upset. But that's clearly not the case here. When I read that this could be obtained through missions or questing, I was like... Uh, you know that's that, that, that's that's a little people are being you know, a little bit a little crazy, a little crazy at this point. The thing is, like when it comes to free to play, you know, and the thing I don't understand about um about you know when it comes to uh, you know people that you know cry about this pay to win thing and stuff like that. Earning every type of currency in an MMO requires a grind. I don't care if you know if you're playing a paid subscription MMO like Final Fantasy fourteen or World of Warcraft. Or if you're playing something free to play like um like Neverwinter or um or Forsaken World. You have to grind in MMOs. You have to grind in RPGs. My personal opinion, and you know, if you want to take offense to this, oh fucking well. But if you don't like grinding, stop playing fucking MMOs, period. And <laughs> that's <laughs> That, that, that's my honest answer. If you have an issue grinding, you don't need to be playing MMOs. Because guess what? The base end game of every MMO on the damn planet is about grinding something to get something to build your character stronger for something that's coming to the game later on. That's the formula of every MMO that exists in this world. So if you don't like grinding, if you have a problem with farming, you know, running the same dungeon over and over to get gear and stuff's an issue to you, you shouldn't be playing it to begin with, and that's just <laughs> that, 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 that's my honest, my honest my honest feeling about it. And you know, you can hate, get mad, you know, leave all kinds of gay comments. I don't give a flying fuck, but that's just that, that's that's honestly how I feel when it comes to you know, all this pay-to-win bullshit at this point. Like I'm tired of hearing this, you know, with every single damn game. Like I'm, I'm not gonna lie, even with Neverwinter, you know, when I was reviewing VIP and stuff, Neverwinter pushes some boundaries. I'm not gonna lie about that, but um, but is it technically pay to win? No, because you can grind the currency, and the same thing goes with Skyforge. You can grind the currency by playing the game. So no, the game is not pay to win. And you know, I'm sorry, you know, if that busts anybody's bubble, pisses off anybody. Guess what? Leave a dislike on the video, leave a hate comment, and move the fuck on. That's how I feel about it, in all honesty. But guys, I'm sorry that you know this video came out kind of blunt and it's kind of a rant in a way. And I'm not gonna lie, I did rant a little bit. But it's if, if you understand what I'm saying, then you know we're good, we're straight. That's all. That's all it is. You know, it's 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 really it's really simple. You know, some people are gonna look at it, you know, the way I do, and some people are gonna look at it, you know, the way the way they do. That's just you know, if you can pay for any type of you know item that gives you some tor sort of progress whatsoever, whether it boosts experience or whatever the hell it does, and then, you know, they're just going to view it as pay to win, period, you know, because, um, there's, the thing is with MMOs, right, and the thing that people need to understand is MMOs aren't a race, you, if it was, if it was a racing game and you could pay your way to the finish line, then yes, that's pay to win, but with an MMO, you're just getting to the end game quicker where the grind and everything really starts and guess what there's no paying your way through that you have to grind whatever the hell else everyone else has to no sorry i didn't mean to start right there because the thing is right i don't care if you buy a thousand triple xp potions if you hit max level today guess what there's no xp potion that's going to give you all that end game gear you need period and that's my only point anyway guys like i said if y'all enjoyed this video, if you agree, leave a like on the video. If you disagree, leave a dislike on the video. Personally, 
I'm not really affected either way. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. This is just my personal opinion. Feel free to leave yours in the comments. I'm not one of those guys that you know that's afraid of criticism and all that stuff. The comment section and the like and dislike section will be wide open for everybody. But anyway, guys, like I said, y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button, and I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy Tenef127, and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.